the stretches we really want you to do is to do the sleeper stretch. The sleeper stretch has been around for a long time. How you set this up is laying on your side. You can be just on the floor, on the gym floor, at home. You're gonna put yourself, stack your hips, stack your shoulder, and put your arm into a, it's called an internal rotated position, pointing your fingers basically down through your pelvis. From here, we add a little force with the top hand, add a little force as that progresses down. Now, you can see there's a difference between what I can actively get to, what I can passively get to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my active end point, push here, and really work as if I'm trying to bring this arm up into a stable position, I'm trying, or a static position. It's an isometric hold. I'm gonna hold it for about five seconds, maybe one to two breaths, breathe in. When you exhale out, let that arm drop and pull further into that internal rotated position. Do this one two or three times. No more than that, you really don't get any benefit after about that. So again, now we're at this newly acquired range. I'm gonna push again as if I'm trying to bring this arm up into external rotation. About two, three breaths, like I said. One more. And relax. And let that arm get that stretch. Again, that is a very passive uh, exercise. It's called a post-isometric relaxation. For the shoulder, we're getting a lot of the external rotators to really lengthen out. That is the muscles of the infraspinatus, supraspinatus, and teres minor group of the rotator cuff.